Hello students, welcome to Web Technology Laboratory. This is Professor Anil from Computer Science Department of CIT. Today we are going to discuss on program number 8. Yeah, program number 8. So first we will go through the pro, uh, statement, problem statement. Write the PHP programs to do the following. So there are four components are there. In that first one, implement simple cal calculator operations. Next, find the transpose of a matrix. Next, multiplication of two matrices. And the last one, addition of two matrices. Okay. So in this program, we have to do four different things. So for that sake, we will divide this into two parts. Okay. In the first program, we will try to create a simple calculator using HTML and PHP. In the second program, we are going to do the operations on matrix. Okay, let's start with implement simple calculator operations, okay? See, uh, this uh, simple calculator, okay, first what we have to do, the front end of this uh, pr pr problem, we are going to design using uh, HTML, and then the data which is received in HTML, we will send it to the PHP and perform the operation, and then we are going to display the result. So this is the basic logic we are going to use. And the design what we are going to use is like this, okay? First, there will be a heading like simple calculator, okay? And then we have series of inputs. That is, this is a simple HTML form which we are going to create to take the input from the user, okay? So in that first one, uh, in order to calculate uh, the in simple calculator, uh, definitely, we will be having uh, the addition operation, subtraction operation, multiplication operation, and division operation. So these operations are bina uh, yeah, binary operations. So we need two operators, right? So here we have a we will make a provision of accepting the first operand and the second operand, and then we will, we are going to give a choice for the user. Okay. So this can be implemented in so many ways, okay? So uh, we will use any one appropriate way. And then this just like a button, like show result. And the, in the final row, so we are going to calculate the result of it, okay? So this is the plan. This is how we are planning to uh, create and design in HTML, okay? And then use PHP to calculate the result, okay? So we will go for an editor. Okay. So I'm using uh, Notepad++ editor, and also I'm using XAMPP in order to execute the programs. Okay. So as per the design, we will start coding, okay? So I'll increase the font size so that you can view better. Okay, and I'll see, yes. Uh, so you already know how to code in HTML5. We discussed this in our uh, lab set programs as well as in the theory class. Okay, first we will be having the doc type element is the next summation doc type html okay and then we will start with the root element html okay and we will give a title to this page title simple Calculator. Fine. Okay. I am going to close the hit section. 
later if you want to add css you can come back to this section and add uh, the body level style sheet okay so next i'll start my body section okay so next i'll go back to my design yeah this is the design so which contain first the heading simple calculator okay so i'll say this uh, h2 okay so i'll they save this file i'll save in uh, ht docs okay of document root of xamp i'll save it as cal.php i'll save it as cal.php okay so my first line of design is over okay so next i am going to design this form this is a form actually so whenever we want to in a uh, Uh, receive the input from the user so we will go for a form so i'll start the form body method equals i'll use post yes next as you see here in the design we are using a table like structure okay so in order to uh, align properly so i am going to use the table element here table i w- i want to make the border visible so i am setting the border size and if you see the table is in the middle of the page right so that's why i am going to use align property i am going to use the align so this you can you uh, this style information you can use a style sheet also okay so okay i'll start with the first row okay the first row contain two columns so columns are gone by td and row is gone by tr okay so i'm going to use the same thing i'll start my first row okay and then first column so i want to make it highlighted so i'll use th here okay so what it says enter the enter your first number okay enter your first number okay uh, slash th my first column is over yeah this column is over and then this column this is an input right so i have to use a text box here okay so i'll start my th here itself okay my second column here itself it's a text field right okay so in uh, html5 uh, we can use a specific uh, type of uh, 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 field okay so like a number string like that okay that is available so i'll make use of a number field okay instead of a simple generic text field i use a number field okay so i'll use input type equals number okay so i need to set a name i need to set a name i will set as first number okay fn okay so this is what i have to do here and uh, i'm going to close my column okay so first column enter your first number second column is a number field okay so this is what we thought of designing and this is what we did okay so we are repeating the same procedure for second row also okay in the second row i'll just copy and paste it i'll change the appropriate values oh this is second row right so what i have to do i have to finish this first row and i have to start my uh, second row 
okay in the second row what i have to say enter your second number second number okay this is also a number so this is now it is i'll say second number is a second number okay so next what i have to do i have to close my door then okay. so up to now we have followed our design okay so this is also done now the third one third row in this third row i have to ask the user to select the option basic operation automatic operators okay what i'll do i am planning to use uh, uh, select here okay so that uh, a menu will appear and the uh, user is going to one of the element in the menu okay so tr okay that th so as i said uh, in the first th i have to say select your choice the first stage that means in the first column in the first column we are telling select your choice okay next in the select uh, next column i am going to use my select option select name equals it's a character which we are going to enter you can use operator also okay so what options option i'm going to give plus okay okay so four basic operations we are planning so we have to have four options this one is for minus star and a slash Okay, so I'm going to close my select option. Okay, and then this uh, column is also over. Okay, and then this row is also finished. Slash here. So what we did? We have finished this particular row. coding of this particular row. in html fine okay so what is the next row next row we have to have a submit button okay because every form should contain in submit button whenever we submit whenever we click on that button the data which is collected in the form will be created as a query string and it will be sent to the server side program so having a submit button is very very important okay so what i'll do see here i expand this row i expand this column to second column also right so in order to view only one button here so what we have to use we have to use call span here so i'll start the next row i'll start the next row okay so i'll start the column here so in that what i have to do i have to span this column right call Span. call span okay so next here i have to use then submit button okay so what is the tag input type equals submit name equals i use save value equals which will be appear on the button okay show show result okay so i close my submit button and i close my column so only one column because we are spanned next what we will do 
we are going to close the row okay so with this we are completed this this is an action button when i come in to click on this so it is going to calculate the value okay fine what is the next row then so next row is of two column your result okay this is the result window okay which we want to create so how to create we will see i'll start the next row with tr okay so i'll start the first column with th what i have to say your result plus th okay in the next th i have to have a space holder okay i have to create a space holder for the result so in order to do that i am going to use the same uh, input uh, widget type equals number okay so i make it read only because uh, here i right, should not accept or is prompt the user to uh, type the value so i'll use make it as an read only button these are all the options available in html5 okay and disabled equals disabled okay and then the resultant value should be there no resultant value should be displayed here okay what is that value okay what i'll do i am going to use a result variable in php and its value i am going to print here okay so if i want to print a php value here what i have to do i have to add a php tag here and i'll say echo because i am displaying it right so as i told i am going to use a variable called result okay so dollar res dollar res semicolon is must okay and uh, here i am going to close my php tag so that is the advantage of php right whenever we want the programming uh, variables we can shift into the php and complete it yeah this is what i'll do okay so now i'm going to close my input and then i'm going to close my call okay yeah in this row first in the first column i just displayed a label in the second column i displayed a read only text window okay i will close this row okay so anything is there no so this is what the html design okay so still we are not started our php constructs okay yeah uh, so i'll close my table tag here okay and even i am going to close my form tag okay and then the body of the html and then the ht okay so i'll just uh, minimize it to look it properly yeah this is the code okay which we are written so first before uh, writing the php code uh, just we will uh, try to execute this and check it out whether it meets our expectation so it's a simple calculator see so whatever we are trying to design okay this is our design we thought of uh, creating it we written the code and it has come like this okay first number second number okay and a select the operation and show result right so it won't having any action here because we are not uh, added a php code this so 
So now what we have to do? Uh, in the user, click here and enter the value. Okay. So he is going to enter one more value. He is going to select the operation. Okay. The moment I say show result, so this information has to be sent to PHP. Or else this information has to be extracted in PHP. Okay. Perform the operation, and the resultant value should be. See, this is in disabled, right? So that's why it's cannot we can't access. This is a simple text box, and this one is disabled. So that's why. it won't enable and ask the value from the user fine so we will add a php code into it so we'll go back to our editor okay so we'll start writing the php code okay first what we have to do we have to extract the values we have to extract the values which are specified in the html form okay how you are going to extract so no doubt we are use the post method right so when we use the post method we can extract the values by using the global array what is the global array dollar underscore post on this we are already discussed in our chapter number 4 of the uh, module number 4 of php okay arrays and uh, super globals okay so there we are more studied so not much uh, theory needed okay so i am going to start my php section here dollar php okay first what i have to do extract the values there is a function called extract in php so what we have to extract we have to extract the values of dollar underscore post array because it's a super global array okay yeah so if you want to more about extract i can give you a uh, simple example which is there in w3 schools okay so yeah uh, see uh, so php extract function okay so what php extract function will do the extract function imports variables into the local symbol table from an array okay import variables so uh, in order to understand we will go through one example okay so consider there is a variable php variable and it is assigned with the original string okay now if you say echo a it will print the value original okay now what i will do i will create an associated array i create an associated array the dollar my underscore array okay and the values are a will be assigned with cat okay you already know associated array this will be the key and this will be the value okay this will be the key and this will be the value okay next key and a value and next key and a value okay so now it's part of an associated array and these are key value pairs okay so extract function imports variables into an local symbol table from an array okay now what i am going to do i'll call extract okay dollar my underscore array okay so now the moment you do like this what happens okay so your a your key will become a variable name and the value will become the value of the variable okay and value become the value of the variable this is the uh, significance of extract function okay so when you want to output the value what you have to do so just you can say dollar a dollar b and dollar c so my dollar a is already had some value but unfortunately it has changed with a new one because it just like an assigning a new one more value to the existing one so definitely it will replace the value so we will execute this and check it out what it should be a will be equals to cat b will be equals to dog and c will be equals to uh, horse okay so how this concept will be applicable to our program right that is what you are doubt everyone will be having the doubt on this see uh, when we create an form and we use the method post okay so no doubt all the form values okay form widget values for example here we have a widget called num text box okay 
number text box okay which name is fn okay so you already know it will create an associated array okay yeah, how it will create how it will create means fn equals whatever the value i entered in the first example i entered value 10 fn equals 10 this fn will become key okay this sn will become key and whatever the value we are going to enter that will become the value now since we are extracting this so i can say dollar fn to handle that value similarly i can say dollar sn to handle that value okay so simply i can use dollar fn and dollar sn as our in order to extract the form value that is very very simple okay so next what i do uh, i am going to do the operation only my submit button is enabled that means what executed see show result should be clicked then only have to calculate the uh, value right so first i am going to check first i am going to I'll increase the font size yeah first i am going to check whether e set we already discussed in the theory classes whether the variable as set okay that is dollar same fine if it is set that means if the submit button is clicked then only what i'll do i'll use a switch switch case here switch off okay so uh, in the select button okay in the select button the name of the select is ch and the value of this one is plus or a minus or a star or a slash okay because we are extracting it right so switch off what we have to write dollar ch okay at any point of time if we, when we submit at any point of time one character we will be get selected right okay next what we'll do i'll use a case statement here everybody knows this okay so yeah if it is plus if it is plus what i'll do i'll say see the value which i'm going to set is which value i'm setting it is yeah echo dollar result i have to set this value can we we have to display no on that appropriate place so here i go i have to use result okay dollar Sorry. dollar result equals okay which two values i have to add whatever the values i receive as fn and sn right so since i am using an extract i can directly access them as dollar fn right plus dollar sn okay. semicolon break fine you got it okay so when the character is when the uh, submit button is pressed when the character is plus i'm going to add these two values okay similarly what i have to do i have to do it for all the four different cases okay this is for minus if it is minus i'll subtract okay and then if it is multiplication i'm going to multiply them if it is the division i'm going to divide them okay so uh, i hope we are used only these four operations and then i'm going to say e set i'm going to close Okay, and then finally, I'm going to close my page button. Okay, so I'll save it. First, we will execute and then we will learn how exactly the program will work. I'll run again. Okay, so I'm going to enter the value 10. And then I'm going to enter the value 20. I'll select the choice as plus. 
will say show result. See, the value is computed. Okay. Then second instance, I'll use the no, first number 20. Use the second number 30. I'll say minus. I'll say show result. Okay. The value is computing. Next, I'll use the value 30. I'll use the value 30. I'll say multiply show result. Okay. And then I'll use the value 4,000. Four, 4, I'll use the 20. I'll say multiply show result. Okay. So in other case, without anything, I'll say show result. So we are going to get a warning messages saying that non-numeric value because we use the field as numeric, right? So number, okay? So that's why we have to enter only numeric values, okay? So the program is working properly, okay? So what happens? How exactly this program will work? We will see through the, go through the code, and then we are going to finish the session, fine? So when we enter the first number, okay? So it will be there in the field, in this number field identified by Fn. Next, similarly, uh, Sn, and the choices will be placed in the, under the variable ch. Okay. So when we press and submit, what happens? It will create an array, which array, dollar underscore post array, which is an associated array, which is having the key value pairs like Fn equals, okay, Fl, Fn equals greater than 10, Sn equals greater than 20 and CH equals greater than plus. Okay. Now we have an associated array. Okay. And we are extracting it. So that's why directly we can use. Now, uh, whenever we say show result, dollar CH is set with a value plus, right? FN is set with a value 10 and dollar SN set with a value 20. Okay. So the resultant is computed. Once the result is computed, what we are doing? we are placing the result in the area disabled number field. See, echo dollar result. So there automatically it's going to place. So this is how the code is working for all the four conditions. Okay. So this is how the program will work. Okay. This is the output of the program. If you have any queries, you feel free to mail me at Anil everywhere at catitumco.org. Okay. So thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day.